How to close an above ground pool for winter. If you have a heater, make sure the breaker's off. I know we did the breaker, but you always check everything. So that's off. And we're gonna also turn the gas off. First, we're gonna drop the water below the skimmer. Here I'm gonna use a Creepy Crawly automatic pool cleaner attachment and a part of a Creepy Crawly hose. I'll link everything down below. For this pool, we have a Hayward sand filter and we're gonna be turning it to waste or backwash to lower the water. This is how you should have it hooked up. Take off the skimmer weir or flap. Water's down below the skimmer, now we can pull the hose. Make sure the pump is still running when you pull the hose. That way the water gets sucked down. Remove the drain plug from the sand filter. Remove the pump lid and take the basket out. If you have a drain plug, remove the drain plug from the pump. Put the drain plug in the basket, empty the pump out, or put the plug back in, fill it up until it goes into where the impeller sits. If you drained out the pump, just put the pump basket back in and put the lid back on. If you put antifreeze in your pump, put the basket in a shed or somewhere safe so you don't lose any parts. Next is the pool jet. We use duct plugs in all our pools to make sure that all the lines are blown properly. They work very, very well. We know it's 100% sealed when we blow the lines. If it's not 100% sealed, we're gonna see bubbles and we have to redo it. If you lower the water below the return and you put a normal plug on and the water's gonna come up, you don't know if it's 100% sealed. This way, it's 100% sealed. For an above ground pool, you could put a normal plug into the jet only if you can disconnect the back of the jet. The reason we keep the water above the jet is whatever plug we're gonna put in, we know and can see if it's leaking. As you can see, it was leaking, so we had to redo the plug. This is a picture of the equipment. I'm going to show you where to hook up to blow out the lines. Here's another above ground pool set up, which we're going to show at the end because we never blew the lines on this one. If you're going to blow out the lines, make sure your filter is on recirculate or whirlpool. First thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect right here. This is how it should look like unless you're going to do your own hookup. Also use a shop back for above ground pool. I'll link the blower down below. If you have a heater for your above ground pool, make sure you locate the drain plug and take that off while you're draining the return. Take your pressure gauge off and put that in the basket. Take your sight glass off from the backwash and put that in the basket. Don't forget to put the drain plug into the basket. If you're using a duct plug, make sure to cap it off after you're done blowing out the line. You normally want the skimmer to look like this. You want it open like that and nothing in it. You can put a gizmo into the skimmer if you want. Like that. And fill this up with antifreeze. But all my above ground pools, this is how I do it, just like that. This next above ground pool, I'm just gonna give a fast overview of what you should be draining. This is how you should have it connected behind the return so you can loosen it all off and drain everything. See, for this setup, I can just take everything all apart and drain the water out. I don't need to blow anything out. I 
Again, I just leave all my skimmers like that and I disconnect the ball valve underneath. Now, if you don't have the ball valve underneath, I would suggest to do it. It's the best setup around. Now, this here, I would change this pool here with this flex. I would put a hard pipe down. It just takes the weight off. There's so much weight in that pipe, the full of water. So it pulls down the skimmers. For this pool here, just because I'm removing all the pipe, more than likely I'm going to take this pump and put it inside the garage. Not every above ground pool I do that, um, just some of them. Next is putting a winter cover on above ground pool. When you're putting on a winter cover for the above ground pool, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to find the shape. With this cable, do not over tighten it. You just have to put it snug, that's it. If it looks like there's an issue in the winter time, just go outside and cut the cable. 